comfortable out from under me because it was way too much like enclosed on me but whatever so getting into the video uh so i'm having a double review today for a uh, uh, review number one will be on the hammer shower review number two will be on the zombie strike z bombs i have two more of these z bomb packages of these z bombs coming one's like a fuel fuel one and it looks like and the other one looks like a nuke grenade thing and then the other one's like a i don't know they they're they're different they look like different things but right now we're not going to be reviewing those to start off we'll be doing hammer shot um it shoots the it shoots the standard elite elite darts but they're zombie strike darts it's a front it's a front road loader it shoots pretty hard um yeah and it's an it's handle is comfy and i like how it's handles big too so like it's not alienating to adults because like if adults want to have nerf wars with kids or, or just like comp cal, cal, college campus H, hvz to our uh, yeah hvz type things um it's good for that um it has pretty good power i don't want to shoot it at the camera because it probably would knock it down um it has a tactical rail on the top um it has a sling point sling mount at the bottom and then to prime it pull back the hammer and then you just fire um i noticed you get better results if you um slowly go like this you'll get better results because it goes faster so let's see um how well i'll do my shorts are wet because i wasn't just in the pool um so i want to shoot this at the camera either definitely get better performance when you pull it back slowly. Oh, no, that one didn't work that time. Yeah, it shoots much harder. So that's essentially it for the um, hammer shot. Uh, except, I would probably accept this um, and say it's uh, a better blaster than the strong arm, but the thing is, I mean, it's lower in size and stuff. I might do a ver uh, I might do a versus video, which one's better. I mean, cause like you could dual dual wield um hammer shots, and and you could do that. You can't really dual wield these because you have to prime from the top or something. Um, its benefit is it's slam fire. Um, but I don't know. I just think this one could be better when you're using it like dual wielding, but. That's it for the hammer shot. Here as we get into the Z bombs. Essentially, what these are for are for um like the HVZ players that because they roll up socks and stuff. So these are kind of the replacement for those. You can like tag players easily. They're made out of soft, soft and squishy foam. Uh, probably out of like if you have a Nerf football, that's probably what it would feel like if you squeeze it. Let me pick one up. Ugh. I threw it, which is a dumb move by me, but whatever. Um, so essentially what this one is, is a gear saw, whatever you could call it. It could be a saw, it could be like a part to a saw, it could be a gear, it's squishy and stuff, flexible. Um, and like if you hit someone with this, like in the in the um, chest area, it won't hurt. But if you strike them in the eye, I, I suggest try not to aim at the face. Because if you strike someone in, in the face, like in this face area, like from nose, the eyebrows you're gonna get hurt right there if you you have to pitch it like baseball pitch it to kind of uh get that to hurt but we'll do the firing test of the hammer shot first then we'll do the firing test of the um ah oh, no, no no it's not a firing test i messed up on that my script is literally like right there and i just messed up oh god um so just it's the throwing test, and I'm too lazy to edit out the end. Alright, I'm here with the firing test. If you hear anything downstairs, that's probably the dishwasher or something going. But, um, start off with the hammer shot, but I, when, I would say Z-bombs, the Z stands for Z, and Z stands for zombie ep epidemic, epidemic, I don't know, epidemic, epidemic, epidemic defense or something like that, I don't know, I can't pronounce it. But, that's why I say it in front. That's all I can say about that. I did a little research before I kind of did my review. And my family is talking downstairs. Oh, my God. All right, so getting into the review. Um, did I 
would just say review. Or I wouldn't shoot myself, but into the firing test. Firing tests are not scripted. That's why I have a hard time with firing tests. Angle shot. That was far. Oh, that skimmed like that part of the wall. Flat. Flat got good ranges. Another flat. And that was another flat. So now we're empty and let's go see where, where all of those went. Of course they all went into that one, but they all went pretty far, but the one that I'm most excited about to see where that one went was the one that skidded across the wall, and I think that went over here. All the way over here. So I have this camera back on or the iPad back on the tripod. Drop down on the back there. And then so what I'm gonna do is one, I'm is for the gear, I'm going to just lightly toss it, then then for the football slash dynamite thing, I'm the baseball pitch that try to knock down a lamp. Try not to knock down a lamp. Because these, you throw it hard enough at a lamp, lamps will fall. So, starting off with the gear. Oh, this is going to slow it away, but whatever. Starting off with the gear. Eh. It all depends upon your throwing arm, like if you were a pitcher like me. Ooh. We already tried that. That hit the bureau. That's not bad. I don't want to hit anything, though, and... I'm not known to be. I'm known to be the not the most accurate pitcher there is in baseball. Yeah, but so essentially, overall of these blasters or good hand grenades things, <coughs> it's unscripted. That I, I have a hard time, but whatever. Um, so yeah, my opinion on the hammer shot is it's a nice pistol to dual wield and stuff, but. I would not, um, it, I'd give it on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being use it for a war, 1 being don't use it all, I'd give it maybe a 7, um, maybe because the capacity and just the, I don't know, I'd give it about a 7 there, that's my mom, my, my nephew going into bed, um, I'd give it about a 7, and then the Z-bombs, I'd give a 9 out of 10, they do it, they do their job, but but the minus one is probably because not many people have a good throwing arm, like. So, other than that, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to smash on.